Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Some exciting things are gonna happen. We're gonna get a bathroom and it is really cool. So stay tuned as you get to watch this little tiny house evolve. No more catfishing. We now are gonna let you see the inside again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We have lots of fun on the job site, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler is hard at it this morning. Yeah. Look at my closet! Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Boy, that looks good and smells incredible once you walk in the front door. Nothing better than the smell of good old cedar. Woohoo! This will go all the way to ceiling, and yeah, Christine needs to order a light. Hmm. Then we need to do the Window? Yep. Please. Turn around for you? Yes. Can you turn that? Sure. And then you can put the ceiling on. And then I can put the ceiling on. Don't do that backwards. It'll be a mess. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> she doesn't want a two piece trim. No, nope. <laughs> two piece trim. Not appropriate. And yesterday, after a little bit of uh, issues we've had over the last couple days, we have one piece of our Crossfield tile now. Heated floor is ready. Heated floor is ready. And we also have the water heater. It is all ready to go. Quick little video from Tyler's work today. Woohoo! So I'm gonna try to give you updates as we do this uh, Crossville tile. This uh, piece will go in uh, around where the shower pan will go. Uh, it goes against the wall on the west side of the, of the tiny house. This is what it looks like on the back side. And you've seen what the front looks. That's the same piece that was on the floor in there that I showed you earlier. And we have one more piece here that will go pretty much underneath the counter or the cabinet with the sink on it. Uh, this is what he's going to use. That's his preferred water, water, mixing. Has to be all the same direction. Yeah. And you, you butter your tile, these panels, the same direction. Okay. That, that way what it does is it meshes together and keeps it from having any air pockets underneath. Yeah. When we start doing a little smack a rooney, yeah. that's what it's doing is vibrating that stuff down in there. Big a mess. Make sure I get a good coating okay. so that we don't have any air pockets or voids, which means we don't have any cracks or bad pieces. I don't put it clear to the edge because. 
because it's going to squish out the edge. And it also helps keep it from uh, pushing up in your grout. Stay right where you're at. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Shaky, shaky, trying to slide. Okay, got it. Down. Can we slide your in? Towards.
guys can hear the difference in the sounds when I started? Yeah. 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 So, There's a difference. Yeah. If you're getting rid of any of it's, that hollow, which means you're getting rid of any of the air that's under there. It's the high ting. Yeah. When get, it's down. I wouldn't have wanted you guys trying this. Although I'm sure you could. I'm gonna give you a bathroom update really quick. So, the floor. So you can see some of the white lines in here. It's not gonna stay, everybody. Those actually get grouted. Then in this corner, we get the big cabinet. And then the, well, you see the orange, remember? The orange gets another piece of this black floor up the side right there. And the same holds true over here. It gets a nice big piece of black. So we're gonna frame this wall. Um, the window seals get black in them as well. And we'll finish them out with some Schluter trim around the edges of it. Um, the far back, you can see, that's the lineal drain. See that skinny thing back there? He has those few pieces left to get in and then the floor will be completely done. So this is a zero entry shower, tub, bathroom. <laughs> so there'll be no curb. The only other thing that I wanted to show you Check that out. You guys are probably saying, what in the world? So, this is our tankless hot water heater. You can see the little cutout in the top of the cabinet. It needs clearance up there. But by putting it at the top of the cabinet, we've left, oh, basically about half of this cabinet, two third, or a third of it at least, that we can still use for other means. So we think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna be a little shot. So check this out. My floor is heated. And I have it set to 65. It's 67 outside. Pretty neat, huh? Got Wi-Fi capable, I can put a little app on my phone and I can control it from anywhere. And the last thing that he did in here, he has a light up. That whole piece right here will be a vanity and a mirror above that. And we have all the electrical and the water and the sewer there as well. And then we have the closet. Cedar. I'm a huge fan of cedar, especially in the closet. I love the smell of it. And I was telling you all how we wanted to use um, some of the daylight uh, from natural light from the window. So as you can see, we split that window with the uh, tongue and groove pine on the top. He's got everything in here ready to go for the washer and dryer. Water's on, outlets are in. We have the shoe cavity has been cut out completely now. Um, it will actually get some cedar in it as well, but it is not completed yet. And as you can see, we are still minus flooring, but we will get that accomplished this week. The big things that we're fixing to try to get done is this bathroom though. That's one of the things that we've been concentrating on. Once again, these are Crossville panels. 
This color is um, Absolute, I believe. I think it's gonna work really well. I need to grout it. This is the few lines that we have. I'll get that accomplished in the next couple days. But here again is our cute little bathroom. So stay tuned everybody. Things are changing fast now. Can y'all see that? <laughs> this skinny little thing in the middle. There! As you can see over here, that is the water coming up for the bathtub. So this is a zero entry shower bathtub area. And that is actually tile on the wall for those of you that haven't seen the previous videos. And we are ready tomorrow to finish this up and put the big black panels on the walls that frames this wood. And from what we can see here, whew, that black against that wood looks incredible. Beautiful contrast, beautiful contrast. So uh, we'll be excited to get this kind of wrapped up. Get some doors on the cabinets. And then we have a vanity that goes in here. And we also have a big cabinet that goes here in the corner as well. So just a quick update. Stay tuned for more. Look, we have tile in our window seals. Needs a little grouting around the window. That'll take place soon. End panels went up. That wood wall has now been framed. There's a quick shot of the shower wall with the cabinet in place. Hmm, so pretty. Nice shot of the ceiling with the vanity going in. Yes, a little open window. You can see the nozzle for the tub going in there. It's a great shot of this beautiful tiled wall with our wonderful tub. Yes, that's water. It's ready for a bath. If you guys like these videos, give us a thumbs up. If you are really interested, please subscribe and you'll be the first ones to get new videos each week. Thank you everyone. Have a good week.